Alright guys, welcome to another video from Maths World Education. My name is Matt and I'm showing you uh, in this video the solution to question 6. Taken from step 3 of 2018. So, uh, before I show you the solutions and uh, well, the solution to this question and give you the step-by-step -step breakdown, uh, please, if you are not, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with question six, then be sure to pause the video and have a good stab at this question, uh, or even pause whilst going along with the video to see uh, to see how you would tackle a question like this, because a question like this one. Is, uh, has many, many hidden little gems within the question that you would not otherwise be able to grasp if someone just showed, showed you the solution straight away. I'm a big believer that if you have a good go at the question first, you will get a lot more out of these step questions and it will uh, be beneficial to your developments uh, for your Cambridge uh, or Oxford examinations or any other university, of course, which uh, makes step a requirement in mathematics. So without further ado, let's jump straight into question six and see how we get on. So first of all, we've got part one. It says the distinct points A, Q and C lie on a straight line in the organ diagram and represent the distinct complex numbers A, Q, C respectively. And we need to show that Q minus A over C minus A is real, and hence C minus A times Q star minus A star equals C star minus A star times Q minus A. And then we also need to prove that Q plus AC Q star equals A plus C. So it makes sense if we actually uh, always, if you're not sure, always draw the diagram out. In this case, you want to be drawing out that straight line on the organ diagram. So let's go straight in here. And then um, we've got these three points here, uh, which all represent a uh, coordinates, uh, x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. A, Q, and C on that straight line. And we can see by taking, taking ratios, which we can totally do, uh, y3 minus y1 equals x3 minus x1 equals y2 minus y1 over x2 mi minus x1. But now what we need to do, we need to consider q minus a divided by c minus a, and we need to show that this is real. So let's uh, let's write down these coordinates, and uh, we can actually see here we can take uh, we can take the imaginary part and the real part, uh, which is what we've got here. And uh, it follows there that uh, by the natural properties of complex numbers, uh, we can take a, we can take a factor out, and uh, we can see uh, we can see now that we will have some cancellations. And uh, when working through this algebraic manipulation, you can see that x3 minus x1 plus i y3 minus y1, those terms will cancel out, leaving you with x2 minus x1 over x3 minus x1. You can see there that the numerator and the denominator are both real. Therefore, the expression must be real. So it very quickly follows uh, that q star minus a star over c star minus a star is also real as well. Uh, and it's like that in, with complex numbers, if uh, and normally the complex conjugate has a, uh, a very similar property to its, uh, to its original counterpart. And by the same argument as above, uh, we, can, we can see that uh, uh, we end up with x2 minus x1 divided by x3 minus x1, which we can see is identical to our original results. So therefore, we can actually say that Q star minus A star over C star minus A star is actually equal to Q minus A over C minus A. Now what we can do is multiply uh, out a common factor um, to get rid of the denominator on both sides. And there you have it, we have proven our next result.
Now, this, of course, implies that uh, when we actually multiply out the brackets of the result which we've just proven, we have the following. And we're also going to use uh, our results as well. We're using the fact that AA star equals 1. And we may need to consider CC star equaling to 1 as well. And now what we can do, we can divide through by C on both sides of the equation. And then it very quickly follows it that uh, Q plus Q star AC equals A plus C. And we know that to be true because A is not equal to C. Now let's look at question two. Well, part two of question six, rather. So you've got the distinct points A, B, C and D. And we can see that they all lie in anti-clockwise order on the circle of unit radius. So unit radius is important. With center at the or origin. Uh, so A, A star equals one. Uh, and the lines A, C and B, D need, uh, meet at Q. So now we need to show that AC minus BD times Q star equals A plus C minus B plus D, where B and D are complex numbers represented by the points B and D respectively. So let's, um, well, let's just focus on the first part first. So we know from one, we've, we've already proven this result here, that Q plus AC Q star equals A plus C. And we also know that uh, Q plus B D Q star equals B plus D. So this implies that AC minus B D times Q star, again we we're taking a factor out there, equals A plus C minus B plus D. And there you have it, we have shown our result there. Now let's move on to the next part. Now let's take complex conjugates of the last line, the previous result which we've just proved. Uh, so we have uh, A A star C C star minus B, uh, sorry A star C star minus B star D star times Q equals A star plus C star minus B star plus D star. Now by getting rid of the stars and using the uh, using the identity uh, elements there, uh, we can see that uh, one over A C minus one over B D times Q equals. 1 over A plus 1 over C minus 1 over B plus 1 over D. And then what we can do then is um, get rid of the denominator on all the individual terms. And it very quickly follows that we've uh, got something that looks like it's... It, it does in fact look like it's on its way to proving the result which we, which we want. So we've got rid of all the stars. So now we can see that uh, we've got a plus c minus b plus d uh, plus brackets a c d plus a b c minus brackets b c d plus a b d and, uh, and this also uh, continues here to give us our required results now finally we've got part three and it says the lines a b and c d meet at p which represents complex number P. Given that P is real, we need to show that uh, P brackets 1 plus AB equals A plus B, given further that AC minus BD is not equal to 0. And uh, we need to show that P brackets Q plus Q star equals 2. So let's jump straight in. Uh, so the argument is unchanged if Q is external to AC. Uh, for P, uh, we have, by interchanging B and C, uh, we've got P plus AB, P star equals A plus B. But, we also know that P equals P star. So therefore, it will follow, that means that we can replace P star with P, and we can take a factor out of P here, to give us P brackets 1 plus AB equals A plus B. And similarly, we can do uh, the same for the CD term as well, so P brackets 1 plus CD equals C plus D. Further, P brackets A plus, uh, 1 plus AB equals A plus B. So now what we've got now is two separate equations 
um, what we've done, we've simply divided by P on the previous two uh, things that we've just uh, derived. And now, uh, what we need to do now is to simply combine these two different terms. Notice something very uh, special about that. We can see that AC minus BD appears to, uh, appears on both sides of the equation, and it even gives us the information AC minus BD does not equal zero, which is good news because that means we can cancel out those terms. And the next result uh, very quickly follows. Uh, so therefore, P. Q plus Q star equals 2 when AC minus BD does not equal 0. And there you have it guys, that concludes question number 6. If any of you have any questions at all then be sure to comment in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back as soon as I possibly can. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe and tap that notification bell. I will be coming out with more videos like this in the future. My aim is to get solutions to all of the step pass papers out there to make it easier for you guys. I've noticed there's only a, there's only a handful of different uh, papers from various different years uh, with other YouTube videos. So uh, be sure to subscribe uh, and that will help me to keep this channel uh, running. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.